All right, next up is wide receiver. I think obviously you have Odell Beckham, so you have one of the best wide receivers in the league. And you have Sterling Shepard, who had a really promising rookie season in the slot. So those two slot, two spots, you can just you know put them in an ink. Those two guys are going to be there next year. The, the big question, obviously, is the number three wide receiver spot. Uh, you know, I think most people are probably in agreement with me here that it, it's time to bid Victor Cruz adieu. I mean, obviously, they're not going to bring him back at his cap hit for next year. But I don't even really see a point in restructuring him. I mean, he made some big plays this year, but just really wasn't a consistent threat. And really didn't bring what they needed in that outside wide receiver. I mean, he's a slot guy, and they, you know, they drafted the slot guy of the future, and he, he played well as a rookie in Shepard, so I just don't see a spot for Cruz. I know some people are going to be encouraged by what Tavares King did late in the season, and they should. Uh, probably a better question is why he didn't get more opportunities to play last season. Uh, but I don't know that you want to go into you know, the training camp with him as your number three receiver. I think he could be a really good number four, uh, you know, bring that speed weapon if they actually mix up their personnel a little bit next year and play four wides. I think King's perfect in that type of role, but... And they need to go out and get you know a legitimate third option. Now, I don't think I'd go the route of the draft for that spot, you know, only because you just drafted Shepard next last year. So I don't know if I want to go back to that well again, uh, invest another high pick at that position. So uh, there's a lot of guys in the free agent market. It's really going to be uh, about how much Jerry Reese is willing to spend, you know, how much cap space they have because uh, there's a few different tiers. I, I think the the Alshon Jeffries and Terrell Pryors are probably going to be priced out a little bit. And I'm not sure I want to invest big bucks in either one of those guys. Not, not totally sold that, that they'd be the answer uh, for the price that they're going to command. I, I think it's really interesting that's that next level where it's going to shake out. There's a lot of guys that are, are grouped pretty tightly that uh, are certainly intriguing. I think Kenny Britt kind of jumps off the page as, as being that big outside receiver, a big play guy, uh, who would be really a good fit on paper. I don't know what some of his troubles he's had uh, you know, in the New Jersey area. Granted, that was a few years ago, but... Not sure it's the best idea for him to come home. Uh, obviously, homecoming is usually a good thing. Not sure it would work out great for Kenny. Um, but there's plenty of other guys in that in that same mold. Of, you know, Terrence Williams from Dallas, or even Brian Quick, who would probably be a, a cheaper option from the Rams. Or uh, Pierre Garçon's a guy who really intrigues me from the Redskins. I know he doesn't bring that big size as far as height uh, as an outside receiver, but he's tough and physical. Uh, he's coming off a great year. Uh, I would not be intrigued really by Deshaun Jackson, his teammate. Uh, I, I just don't think he fits what they need. Uh, a little too inconsistent, still a big play guy, obviously. But uh, the bottom line is there's a lot of options out there uh, in the free agency wide, at the wide receiver spot. I think the Giants should be able to get someone in that that you know six to eight million dollar a year. Uh, you know, well, probably you know in their case they'd like to be more in the six million dollar range, but uh, something in that in that territory. I think you can find a good solid number three receiver. Uh, you know, who will be an upgrade to Cruz. Uh, and be a good compliment because obviously you saw teams put so much emphasis on Beckham last year. They need someone who can kind of take the top off the defense on the other side to make them pay. And you know, Cruz really wasn't that threat consistently. So I think that's really the key for the Giants. And again, I think there's plenty of guys out there that they can find someone to, to step into that role.